This week uh, marks the eighth anniversary of the Tunisian Revolution in 2011, which triggered a bunch of other revolutions in the region known as the Arab Spring. Uh, unfortunately, only in Tunisia has this led to democratization, uh, tenuous as it is. In most other countries, it led either to civil war or to uh, ferocious reassertion of authoritarian power. Uh, it's, un it's troubling that the region itself is also reasserting authoritarianism as a model, La latest development of which was this movement to uh, uh, normalize relations with the Assad regime, which has been one of the most brutal in the world. Uh, and this movement perhaps is also gaining, uh, has sympathy from the East and China and Russia, and really is not finding much resistance uh, from the West, particularly with the Trump administration, which does not highlight the importance of human rights or democratization. Uh, there are, you know, glimmers of, of optimism and hope in the region, uh, partly in Tunisia. Uh, some other countries like Lebanon and Iraq have their own uh, troubled but important uh, experiments with pluralism and democratization. Uh, but I want to end with this thought that in the longer term, uh, that having authoritarian governments as the model for the region uh, is, is, is not going to work. It leads to larger breakdowns or explosions in the future. And it's also uh, not a model for sustainable economic development. An unfree people is not a productive people.